Hi everybody, it's CZQ96. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Monday Lodo Coin Collecting Show with the extra added bonus of it being the fourth day of Christmas. So we have that giveaway that's also going to be rolled up in this show. Uh, we're going to continue our loving battle with <laughs> trying to get the Nightbot to recognize everybody in the stream. And if it doesn't work, I'll just do tonight's giveaway in another way. And we will abandon that ship. So let me start out by saying hi to everybody. And after that, I'll have you type something into the chat so we can see if it picks everybody up. Let's start out with Jesse O, Miss Southern Belle, the one lady that this thing does not want to recognize for some strange reason. I don't understand. She is such a wonderful person. I do not know why the Nightbot has got it in for Miss Southern Belle, but we're going to cure that yet. Handy Andy 736, Elton Jones, Sheena Smith, Kayla fan number one. Let me see. I know I saw somebody else. Steeler Stacker. I'm scrolling down through my list. Patrick Johnson. PB Sandinger. Hey, you made it, buddy. All right. Good deal. Glad to see that. Tiffany Twisted. Oops, my my cursor jumped. After it saw Tiffany, it got so excited, it just jumped. Uh, David Carlisle, Papa Giorgio, Scratch and Go Crazy, Joke Guy, the other Jimmy, Edward Scott, uh, Lady Robbins, Archaeology, Mikey. Got a lot of folks in the house already today. We got 17 and we haven't even done anything yet. I haven't even showed off today's coffee cup. And I got to do that because it goes with all the junk that happened to me today. Coffee cup. I been trying to deal with ah oh, guess what miss southern bell you're on the list this time i fixed it yay i fixed it Woohoo! now watch somebody else will be missing <laughs> it says there's 18 eligible people and there's 20 in the stream but if you haven't posted anything it won't pick you up so before i go through the list. We'll let everybody have a chance to post and, and we'll go through it again before I do the giveaway. But first I got to tell you why I, I, I want you to know the coffee cup I am drinking from does not in any way reflect my audience. This coffee cup is because I had to deal with health insurance people today about my glasses, which many of you know, I, I broke them right down the middle. I've got them sitting over on the counter now trying to stick them back together. So, so I was trying to deal with them and they will not even refer me to the optometrist until after the first of the year. I thought, well, at least I could get the referral and then make the appointment. So right after the first, I could run in, you know, get new glasses. Nah gotta be a pain in the butt. So then I had to deal with a company called stamps.com that I've been using for several months to ship all of the goodies out from this channel. And I canceled my membership with them because it wasn't saving me any money and half the time it didn't work. And anyway, they owed me, they owe me money and <laughs> they don't want to send it back. So I had to, deal with them. And when I got done with them, I had to deal with PayPal because my PayPal card expires on the 31st of December. They were supposed to send me a new one in November, but it didn't come. It didn't come. So first part of December, I'm going, Hey, I'm running out of time here. Let me call these people up. 
they sent it to an address that I know I have changed because it was an address from when I lived in Michigan. Now I have not lived in Michigan for over three years. <laughs> Why they sent my car to Michigan? I don't know. So then they told me they sent out another one. This was the first of the month. No card, no card, no card. So I called them today. I said, okay, where did you send the new one to? They sent it to Michigan uh, again. So I still don't have a card. So I took all the money out of my PayPal account, put it in my regular bank account, which I didn't want to do because PayPal is what I use for business. It's a business debit. So after dealing with all of those moronic people, uh, this is the cup I chose to drink from today. It has no reflection on you guys, strictly all the idiots I have dealt with today. This is the cup of the day. Yeah. I saw a whole bunch of these today. Now, this is my second I See Stupid People cup. My original one I had for a long, long time, and it got broken in the move. The same lady that bought me the first one bought me the second one. <laughs> So that's the cup of the day, folks. No, there is no alcohol in it. It is orange zinger tea. For those who are interested in what I am a drinking, we are up to 30 folks to already. Uh, I'm going to make you wait a little while for the giveaway. I will tell you, we have given away three of 15 boxes. There are only 12 days, but I didn't want the last person, you know, last couple of people only have one to choose from. So I made a couple extras. The extra boxes are going to roll over to the Epiphany prize, which may or may not all be in this box. And what I have started doing so I can keep track of how many I've given away, the bows off of the, the little giveaways I'm putting on here when the box is covered. We'll be ready to give this away and whatever else goes with it. So while you're waiting for me to call it, the available numbers, you can see number two was one by Silver Wishes. Uh, 11 was Treasure Outdoors and 14 was taken by Billy P. Now, some of y'all got in this habit of leaving right after the box drawings. Those, those were mistakes. Should not have done that because we gave away some other prizes, uh, including, uh, well, let me see, what did I give away? Oh, I gave away a 1909 Weedy, a very special 1909 Weedy, as a matter of fact. Um, we gave away an NIFC. We gave away a, what else did we give away? Something else. Anyway, there's been other prizes. But yeah, if you want to leave, like Patrick Johnson says, hey, you want to leave, it doesn't bother him. That's more prizes. He has a better chance of winning. So don't necessarily assume that just because I drew the thing for the box, that the show is over, especially on Monday night. You guys know I have fun on my Monday night show. I got down to the car wash today and I scrubbed my car. And by the time I got home, it didn't look like I washed it at all because they have salted the roads. So all of it's right back up on my car again. But I managed to get $30 in quarters from the car wash today, of which I used two to wash my car. So we got 28 bucks worth of quarters to go through. Um, I see some new folks in here that I haven't greeted yet. I'm going to roll back up a ways. Uh, Billy P is in the house. A winner already so far in the uh, contest. Jimmy Lacari is here. Uh, that's my favorite lurker. Uh, the other Jimmy is here. Relics and Stat Stones. Hey, glad to see you. Glad to see you. I'm so glad Petey, <laughs> Petey Sandigger's been trying to get in here every day. And it just has not been able to match with my times. 
Bill457, Mike the Greek, uh, the Nightbot, I still haven't got all of the commands for, so I am working on that. Uh, no, it's getting better, Billy. I mean, when you move, especially when you move to another state, it creates all sorts of logistical nightmares. You have to change your address on everything. And then if you are on any kind of government program, which because I am a senior citizen, I am, uh, you have to change your address on all of those things. And you got to jump through hoops and you stand on your head and do a jig. I mean, it's, it's crazy. And... I have the exact same insurance company for my health insurance, the exact same plan, but I'm in a different state. So they're treating me like I am a new person and they want me to wait 90 days for everything. Well, I got too many health issues. I can't wait 90 days for things. So I've been duking it out with them every day, but it's just a logistical thing that happens when you move. It'll iron itself out eventually. Okay. Back to my list. Uh, Patrick Johnson. Hi. Victoria Roman Carter. Hi, honey. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Uh, I've still got it. I'm working on these. If you see Nightbot things coming up and it says does not exist, it's because I haven't gone in and programmed those things all in yet. Sheepdog 13. Mudswat. Hi, honey. I see lots of folks in here today. That makes me happy. When you have a really crappy day and then you come in and you log on to your stream and there's so many wonderful people in there, you know, it, it really, it's a good thing. It is. It is wonderful, wonderful. Forest Raven, there's a new one. Thank you for the nice hat. The hat has kind of been uh, uh, modified by my cat who decided that the little puffy on the end belonged to him and that's a toy. So... Uh, so it's gone. All righty. So anyway, I got 30 bucks worth of quarters for us to search. And we are working on a, a, this is actually the third statehood quarters book. The first one was my personal book that we filled from the car wash. The second one I gave away in my last giveaway. So this is our third one. And when it's full, we will give it away as well. And it's pretty darn close. Right now, it is missing Georgia, North Carolina, Alabama, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, the Virgin Islands, the Mariana Islands. That's all it's missing. And I got 30 bucks worth from the car wash. So we may fill that in yet. Uh, I'm still working on my personal national parks quarters. Um, in addition to what goes in the book, because the book doesn't have spaces for W's. Oh, Cynthia was here. She was here yesterday. Tiff. Yeah, she was here. She's fine. She was in the house. Um, anyway, uh, I'm still working on This is my personal national park. I haven't filled it yet. Uh, working on some more quarter books. These will be giveaways. The books were provided to me, these books, by Handy Andy 736. Uh, I also have a bunch of empty books provided by Ed Booth that we're filling and giving away. And then some of these statehood ones my sister and I found in a Goodwill. <laughs> for like 49 cents. And so we scarfed up every one of them. Uh, for those who are not familiar with what I do with the car wash, this is a personal challenge to fill books with pocket change. Whether it be your local car wash, your laundry change, uh, what you find in your pocket, I'm going to have a little extra thing tonight. Oh, I found some cool containers today at the dollar store to put things in. All of this loose change over here, this was in the bottom of my handbag. So we are going to see what's in there, if anything. 
and I got a couple of these. They have lids, and they cost a whole whole dollar. And you can store a lot of pretty things in them. And so tonight's quarters are also neatly sorted into three sections. So I don't have to be fumbling all around here. And I got somebody else to sort them today. I did not do the sorting, so I don't know what's in there. But, but we're going to do them anyway. Woohoo! All right, so what we're going to do first, if y'all bear with me, we will go through the state quarters and then we will go make sure the bots got everybody in and we'll start some Christmas stuff. But these boxes are great. They're a dollar at the Dollar Tree, folks. At least in my Dollar Tree, they have them. And I picked up a couple to see how they would work and they're working great, so I'm going to have to go back and get me a couple more of those. <sighs> All right. Let's get this state headquarters book out here and get these state quarters out. Now, we have, even though the book does not have spaces for them, um, we have found in here, in the national parks, we have found W's. So... The car wash has spit me out a couple W's. I get real excited when I get a W out of the car wash. Because I know people that don't have W's yet. And, and I have found two in the car wash. So, I uh, I think that's a, that's a good reason for the old lady to get up and dance around a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me show you these just so y'all can see. The pretty Christmas packages. I'm going to put the sign down for now. But we have still a large selection of prizes available. How the giveaway works is we have the random picker choose someone, and then that person picks a number. Whatever is in the box or is written on the tag that is inside the box is what you win. You got to be here to win. After your name is called, you got three minutes to jump up and down and go, Hey, I want my present. I want my present. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take me off of the camera. I'm going to put Mr. Microscope up here. And we're going to start looking at these state quarters. I also started a container the other day. Uh, those of you who uh, go to Storm and CA's channel know what Vegas coins are. This is the Vegas coin container. When I cleaned my desk the other day, we started filing those away. We're going to do something with them, even if it's wrong. Okay, let me move my stuff out of the way. Yes, I know my microscope is out of focus. My cat thinks is a toy. And I have been trying to break him of that habit. Right now, he happily, he finally got some treats today. And I found some that fit in his little container that he got for Christmas. And they had catnip in them. So he is somewhere stoned out, kitty stoned, probably in his new kitty bed. Uh, so he will probably not knock me offline tonight. But that doesn't mean I will not do it to myself. Those of you who know me know I have thrown myself out of my own stream on multiple occasions because, hey, I'm an old lady. You know, uh, I'm not, I used to be like on top of the learning curve as far as tech stuff. And then I just got out of it for years. And when I came back, I mean, I used to write HTML web pages and, you know, I knew all that code stuff by heart. Now, the stuff that I worked with is all pretty much obsolete. You know, I was around when Flash was new. Uh, so, all righty, here we go. Uh, yeah, I don't, I do not take my phone into the restroom for that reason. Uh, <laughs> no, kitty, that's my pot pie. Right, you got it. That's it. <laughs> that is it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Like I said, 
we need, I'm going to run down the list again real quick. We need Georgia, North Carolina, Alabama, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, the Virgin Islands, and the Northern Mariana. Now, if I find anything else that looks better than, like I got a couple in here that aren't too pristine, I'll replace those and we'll save the other oddballs for the next book. We will start another book shortly. Oh, look, right out of the box, we got one. There's Georgia. First one we were missing. Yeah. I just moved to Virginia from Georgia. So I think uh, Miss Southern Belle, she down in Georgia. She's a peach. Okay. This is Texas. I don't need a tax. But the other reason I use my scope so much is that my lighting is very bad in this corner. And with the microscope, I can see everything really well. Helps me out tremendously. Uh, so, oh, there's an oaky. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Ed and Brandon Scott are okies. I remember that. Ah, oh, they're successful slave. How? Hi, how are you? So, yeah, I kind of rely on my scope heavily. Handy Andy sent me to this after watching me do my early streams wearing two pairs of glasses and using a jeweler's loop. <laughs> but hey, you do what you got to do. Oops. Okay, I want to I want to vote on this from those of you who patronize the channel over at Stormin. Is that gross enough to be a Vegas coin? I vote yes. That thing is going to Vegas. It's nasty, and we don't need it. Don't 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 dread poo. Hi, Dreads. Uh, Michigan, my former home state that I would really like to move back to. And, yeah, I put it in with the Vegas. I, I thought it belonged there. I don't need a Connecticut. Now, I'm not getting rid of these coins. I'm throwing them right back in the bin. And I will look at them later for... Um, boo-boos and also to start filling a new book with. Armando from the vault. I'll tell you what's going on today. We're going to search through some quarters and then we're going to give away the uh, prize, the fourth day prize of my 12 days of Christmas. So stick around because you got to be in the stream to win that. We've had some pretty good prizes too, by the way. We haven't been giving away yunk. Uh, we've given away silver. We've given away uh, some metal detecting items. Uh, gave away a jeweler's loop. Uh, there is silver in the mix. Oops, that's in the wrong chute. Oh, yeah, there is silver and, and other good things. Oh, we gave away some, some pretty nice old uh, pennies. I think we gave away... Well, I'm not going to tell you everything because I might name something that's still in the box. and I wouldn't want to do that give away what we're giving away. Oh, there's a North Carolina. That'd fit in there. We almost got this book full. This may fly out of here pretty soon as a giveaway. We are good Texas. I mean, Texas. I'm sorry. I used to live there. I could say anything I want about that state. And most of it would not be good, except that Austin has great music. <laughs> And other than that, I'm not real. Although I would like to go back there and metal detect. Uh, my friend that lives in Austin went metal detecting with me last Christmas, as a matter of fact. We were down in Florida. And she got hooked on it. And so she went home and they bought a metal detector. <laughs> Uh, she, I mean, she was immediately taken with it. We were out on Clearwater Beach metal detecting, and she just fell in love with the whole idea of, of it. And so she and her husband now metal detect around the Austin, Texas area. 
Oh, there's one from the state of misery. Uh, Missouri. My daddy from, was from there. I have a story. Some people think it's not funny. My dad would have thought it was hilarious, however. When my dad passed away, uh, the Veterans Administration paid to ship his body from Florida to Iowa for burial. Now, my dad was from Missouri, and he had said one time he'd like to go back to Missouri one more time and stay there for a day or two before he passed away. And so somehow in a wicked twist of fate, uh, the airlines had to fly my dad to Iowa and they had to go through St. Louis. Somehow, I don't know how you do this. How do you lose a casket? Luggage handlers, how do you lose a casket? They lost my dad's body in St. Louis, and he got to spend his day in Missouri before he went back to Iowa to be buried. The poor undertaker from Iowa had to drive all the way down there and pick my dad's body up and take it back to Iowa so we could bury him. But he got to go to Missouri one more time. Steeler Stacker, I lived in Bettendorf for a moment. Uh, I was born about 40 miles from Bettendorf, actually. I was born in Muscatine. Oh, we got a District of Columbia. We don't need it for this book. Well, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. The one that's in here is kind of not as nice. This is the one that was in the book. So I'm going to set this one aside. We can use that in another book as a placeholder. But I'm going to put this nicer one in this book. But yeah, uh, my mom used to work in Bettendorf. I know the Quad Cities. I got cousins and family all over the Quads. Got an aunt in Moline. Uh, years ago, when I was very, very young, I was very fortunate. I had some cousins that told my daddy a fib and said we were going bowling or something. And they took me over to Davenport and we went to a Jimi Hendrix concert. And years later, I found out that there was a bootleg recording on the internet of that concert. So I downloaded it and I have gotten to listen to the concert that I went to. And of course, at the time, we had no idea that Jimi Hendrix was going to be dead very, very soon after that. Oop, nothing yet. Yeah, I go back through all of them, Ed, and, and look for all of the uh, anomalies and everything. Uh, on this initial go-through on camera, I just go through and try to fill the books. And then... Uh, I come back to them in a different stream or in private and go back through them. I am so slow at looking for all of those things that we would be here all night like Storm and CA if, if I did that. Oh, there's another DC. Boy, we're stacking those up tonight. I've got about 15 more quarters and after that we're going to start with the Christmas stuff. So those of you who are taken off to do things, don't be gone for too long. All right, there's a North Dakota. We needed that one. So, like I said, when this book is full, we can give this one away too. Ooh, there's varmint. I don't need varmint today. Move the TV controls and the car keys from your sister. Oh, yeah, that might be a good idea. I don't know. I don't know your sister. Uh, -de -de. let's turn that around where I can see. Oh, that's in the wrong bin. Let's throw that over in the other one where it belongs. New Hampshire. We don't need that one. Hi, Kason. Yeah, there's three people. I still have packages here that I have not mailed out. Um, 
because of the holidays, I did, opted to hold on to the packages until after Christmas when they dropped the rates back down. Ooh, this is definitely going to Vegas here. Because right now they're charging extra and they're losing more packages than they are delivering. So we will get those out after the first of the year. To and, and the reason I mentioned that is because one of them is for Kaysen. Uh One of them is Pastor Tim. And the other one I, is one of the Jimmies, but I don't remember which Jimmy at the moment. I have so many Jimmies. Jimmy, Jimmy, and Jimmy. So... Oh, there's a Hawaii. I don't need a Hawaii. But I got three more here to check. And then we'll see where we're at on this book. We're getting closer to filling it up. We didn't get skunked. All right. To finish this book, we need Alabama, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, the Virgin Islands and the Northern Marianas. So that's not bad. We'll, we'll get them. Got to come out of the car wash or other change, though. I don't want anybody sending them in. Um, I'm thinking of trying a uh, pirate ship. I've had a lot of people tell me that pirate ship is good. So... Uh, I think I'm going to try that. It doesn't cost anything to sign up for it, unlike uh, stamps.com, which was $18 a month just to look at it. So, all right, let me let me put myself back on here for a minute uh, so everybody can see my smiling face. Move the scope out of the way in case a flying cat comes through. And go back up and greet my guests and see how the, if the bot is going to pick everybody up. All right. Here's what the, we're going to do. It looks like the bot thinks everybody's around. But I'm going to reset it. And I want everybody who wants to be in the Christmas drawing to post the number one. And by the way, for those of you who watched me struggle yesterday, I went through this morning. I ask a bunch of questions and I reset some things and it does now recognize Miss Southern Bell. And no, for those of you who have just come in, you are not the stupid people. The stupid people are my health insurance company. Oh, that tea's good. I didn't know if I was going to like this tea or not, but I really, really do. It's orange zinger. All right, I'm going to start calling off some names here that I have seen. Oh, yes, Jesse. Uh, more detecting videos are on the way. I have probably 10 of them backed up that I haven't done the editing on yet. There is no comment video. You just got to be here in the stream. It's not a comment video thing. Uh, so... I'm trying to get to where the uh, numbering began. How much money is one book value uh, of these quarters? Um, this one doesn't have spaces for the different uh, mint marks. It's worth about... 14, 15 bucks, not counting the book uh, of those, that particular book, but they're all different. And there could be quarters in there that are worth 
you know, more than a quart. So that's a variable. We have, let me see, we got 41 in the stream and we got 39 on the bot. So I'm going to read these names off. And if I do not put your, mention your name and you wanted to be in, let me know. So here we go with the roll call. Archaeology Mikey, Armando from the vault, Billy P, Brandon Scott, Budget Bullion Stacker, Kaysen 2006, David Carlisle, Dwayne Mansell, Dreadpool 26, Edward Scott, Elton Jones, Handy Handy 73.6, Jesse O, Jimmy Lacari, Joke Guy, Justin Busman. Hey, Justin. Kayla Fan number one, Lady Robbins, Larry Powell, Marty Nuts About Digging in Coins, Mike the Greek, Miss Southern Bell, Papa Giorgio, Pastor Tim, Patrick Johnson, Petey Sand Digger, Pennies to Benji's, Pocono Joe, Relics and Stacked Stones, Scott Jarvie, Scratch and Go Crazy, Shane P, Sheepdog 13, Steeler Stacker, Successful Slave, The Lucky Jimmy Eller, The Other Jimmy, TR, Victoria Roman Carter, and Whistle Pig Diggin. If you did not hear your name, and you want to be included in the drawing, uh, type the word yes into the chat. And I will double check and make sure that you were picked up by the bot. So I think everybody's in there this time. Uh, my next thing is that I've got to work on fixing the uh, commands that will put up the email and all that stuff. Okay, let me see if Ron Ralph's in there. See if that guy, yep, Ron Ralph's son, you are on there now. Dirt Troll and Troy, let me see if it added you. It, it, I think I fixed what was wrong with it yesterday. Yep, Troy's on the list. Troy is on the list. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Let me see if Forrest Raven get, got at it. Yep. There you go. It picked you up. If you don't comment in like 15 minutes, then you it takes you off the list. Jazzy. Yep. Jazzy's on. So I got 43 on the list and 44. No, I got 43 in the room and 44 on the list. So somebody stepped out. But it looks like everybody's on there. Uh, so I'm going to hit the, I'm going to bring it up here on the screen and hit the button. And whoever's name gets picked gets to pick their package. So let's see if I can get this up here on the shared screen. I'm getting a little bit better at it. It doesn't take me an hour now. <laughs> All right, I think we got it up on the screen. Now, unlike the other pickers, this one doesn't scroll through and let you see all the names. It just, bam, it gives you a name. So when I hit roll it, which is that big long bar in the middle of it, right below the big blue line, uh, when I hit it, it's going to give me a name right then. So without any further ado, do 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 Let's roll it. Budget Bullion Stacker. It says you are not subscribed. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you cannot win. So, I don't know about that. Are, are you subscribed? Because I will go right now and check. If you're not, you got to be. Got to read the rules, peeps. And it could be a, a glitch in my night bot. So that's why I'm asking. And I'm asking you to be honest. If you are subscribed, I thought you were. So I think that might be a, a another glitch I got to work with. Because Budget Bullion's been in here. Yeah, I believe you. Because I think it always says that. I think it's some kind of glitchy doo-doo thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I remember Budget being one of my subs. So... We're not going to go cuckoo on that. Okay. Budget. Let me get this off the screen. 
and the numbers of the packages that are left. Um, number two is gone, number 11 is gone, and number 14 is gone. Oh yeah, I, I was just messing with him. I know he's a scribe. Um, so pick me a number so I can pick you a package. Oh, I, it's going to say that. It said that yesterday too. So I was just messing with him. Number eight. Okay, let me first, before I forget to do it. Uh, now I can't find the, the white marker, of course. Here I was doing so good. And, ah, there it is. We can cross the number eight off. I just made this sign real quick just so I could remember. So number eight. And here is number eight. Now, before I open this for you, uh, there are a few of the packages that have metal detecting items in them. If you get one of those and you are not interested in being in detecting things, I will happily swap that out and let you pick another one. And I'll just mix up the numbers and put this prize back. So uh, you get to decide, do you want to keep this or swap it? If it's got something, if I don't know if you're a detecting person or not. I don't think you are. No, but there could be because there are, there are tags in these boxes. They don't all have a, an actual thing in them. They actually, some of them just have a little tag that says you won blah, blah, blah. So you don't know what's in there. This one rattles a little bit. Okay, not a detector person. So if this happens to be a detecting prize, we will let you swap it out. So we're going to open this up. You can even look at the T while you're waiting. I'm going to take this bow off. Oops. I'm putting all the bows on the final epiphany prize. So I'm keeping track of how many I gave away that way. Ah, stuck to my glove. All right, let's see what's in number eight. Well, there's one of the last five Suzy Q channel stickers, and there's a card. Okay, this is a metal detecting prize, so I'm not going to read it off because I don't think you're going to want it because you are not a detecting person. So I'm going to let you pick another number because I, if you're not a detecting person, you're not going to want what was in here. Uh, a blah, blah, blah kind of looks like a do, do, do. <laughs> So budget, since you're not a detecting person, uh, pick a different number and I will put that prize in with a different number on it and put it back. How about number three? All right, let's try number three. Yeah, I'm going to make a new chart too, so it doesn't matter. That chart was just a temporary I made today so I would know what I was Oh, come on. Oh, you might like this one. Yeah, you might like this. First, you've got a 2005 S California State Quarter. And then, you know that book of quarters that we're filling up right now that is only missing like three or four quarters that we're going to keep filling up for the rest of it? That book is yours when it's done. So that book that we were just putting the quarters in is yours. So you've got that book plus the 2005 S. So I hope you like that prize. <laughs> you sat right there and watched us work on your prize. And I'm going to make sure that we... <sighs> I got the stuff stuck to my bow here or my glove. So that is 
that book is yours. Along with. And we will try very hard by the end of the 12 days of Christmas thing to have it completely filled for you. So there you go. That's not such a bad prize. And number eight will go back in. But it's not going to be number eight anymore. I'm going to mix it up with something else just in case somebody saw it. I don't think anybody did, but uh, just in case, uh, I would not want that to uh, be exposed. So before we do tomorrow's, I will uh, fix that. Save one of these boxes here. Let me get... I put a little note in this envelope, and that pin doesn't write on there. And I need to put one, well, I'll remember who the book belongs to. So congrats to Budget Bullion. Put, him, put that down in the box. Let me move my tea so I don't spill it. And put the camera back up here for a little bit now don't everybody don't bail out just because i gave that box away because so far i have been giving other things away besides that so if y'all behave i'll do that again in a few minutes after i go through some more quarters i'm still working on my personal national park quarters folder and that's going to be the next bunch of quarters from the car wash I'm going to look through. Am I going to be at Storm and CA's tonight? Um, it all depends. And part of what it depends on, not the stupid people, but what's in the cup. If, <laughs> if the orange zinger tea keeps me awake, then yes, I will. I try to go to Storman's. I love his thing, but I'm on the East Coast and he is West Coast. And half half my tree is blinking. I thought the whole tree was blinking. Uh, well, the tree is blinking because for some reason, if I put the lights on blink, the cat doesn't like it and he leaves it alone. <laughs> so I would prefer to have solid lights on the tree. But if that, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, that Mama's Gone Detecting is sick. Oh, I like Brenda. She's a nice lady. I will definitely say a prayer for her. And while y'all are at it, I have a wonderful friend up in Michigan. Her name is Mary Lou Serrato. She is in intensive care in Ann Arbor. She's from Saginaw, but she's in intensive care with COVID and I can't obviously her family and none of us can be with her. And so if y'all would put my friend, Mary Lou Serrato, her husband was the drummer who played on question mark and the Mysterians 96 tears and played with that band for several years. And her brother is the current drummer of the band. So she has, is, you know, highly connected with the band I work with. And this COVID thing, has it's just awful. And I'm very high risk for it. We have seven cases of it in the building I live in. And so I am being extremely cautious when I leave this, my, my compound, as I now call it. All right. So, on my uh, State Parks book, I'm still missing quite a few of the early ones that you can see. The 2010, 2011, 2012, I got some holes. 2013's okay. Uh, everything from 15 to 18 is filled. Then I've got, of course, the more recent ones to fill in. Um 
I don't know who Jay Brandow is, and I am the publicist for Question Mark and the Mysterians, but they did have some fill-in people off and on. So I can certainly ask Q. Q is like my, my best pal and buddy. Um, what I call somebody who hangs out with musicians? Broke. <laughs> I call them broke. Um, yeah, I can ask you because he did have some other bands that played as the Mysterians for a while. And um, then they went back to their original lineup. So, and, and there is a little time period in there. I know they had uh, one drummer whose name was Lyle Day that played with them for a while. But uh, the original drummer was Robert Martinez. And when he got drafted back in 1966, um, then Eddie Serato played with them. And then after Eddie started working as a producer, uh, Lyle Day, a couple other drummers. Um, but I'll certainly ask you, Mud Digger. He he will he knows everybody that's ever been in his band, believe me. And uh, he will set me straight. It's those those little side bands are the ones I don't know a lot about. Uh, the original band and the current band I know a lot about. <laughs> Uh, and in fact, I lived in Michigan because I worked with the band and I will be living in Michigan again when I leave Virginia. And whoever asked me, somebody said, was I going to look for coins in Virginia or relics? And the answer to that is both. Uh, <laughs> uh, when I'm out detecting, oh, there comes swing for the ring, another Michigander in the house. All right, I got on my... My buddy's ready here. All my soldiers got to get my my scope. And this time I got to be a little more cautious. I I love Saginaw. People badmouth Saginaw about how horrible it is. And, but I like Saginaw and it has some of the coolest architecture. I mean, really, really does have some great architecture. Um, my church is actually in Saginaw. Um, but I guess I like it because I know it and I know people there and I know history there. Um, I don't like Bay City, but I'm probably going to end up living there. <laughs> I probably will end up living there. Yeah, you live over by Lake Michigan, don't you, uh, Swing? Yeah, I know the neighborhood's rough. The church I went to up there was right in the middle of a really, really bad neighborhood. But the two things that good that came out of that neighborhood uh, was Question Mark and the Mysterians and Stevie Wonder. <laughs> so, but I do, I, I miss, I miss being up there. I, I love Michigan. It's beautiful. Um, I miss my friends. What I don't miss is those outrageous car insurance prices, which are what ran me out of the state because I could not afford to drive there. And if you can't drive in Michigan, you might as well not be there. I mean, the highest car insurance rates in the country. Absolutely obscene. Let's see, there's, I knew there's Michiganders in the room. I, I can smell Michigan. I like Michigan. And, and I did not want to move to Virginia, but I was on a waiting list trying to get to uh, senior housing in Michigan and uh, nothing came open. So I could not afford to move there. So my interim stop is here in the southwest corner of Michigan or in southwest corner of Virginia in the Blue Ridge Mountains where my sister and niece and other family members reside. But I am, I am a flatlander. I'm sorry. I am a flatlander. 
I need to go back to Michigan or somewhere. I don't, I'm not wild about, about here. And my, uh, Let's not go with the politics of, of Gretchen because we will get we will get into an argument. I don't want to get into the political side of Michigan, uh, but this didn't have anything to do with her. This is a federal thing, and it has to do with Washington D.C. and not Michigan state politics. That's just. But anyway, there were no there was nothing available where I wanted to live. I could have lived in Flint, but no, no, thank you. I lived in Flushing and that's named appropriately. Uh, <laughs> but I owned my own home there too. And, and it flooded. And so I, I, that was the other reason I had to leave was when your house floods and the kitchen floor takes out the uh, heat and air conditioning unit and drops it. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you what happened for us. When I was in Michigan, I have a 2005 Malibu. It was costing me $280 a month for insurance. And that was not for full coverage. And I didn't have any accidents, tickets, nothing. I moved to Georgia. I got full coverage for less than $70 a month. That's the, and why that is the way their insurance is set up there is, you know, if, if you get into an accident, if somebody gets in an accident and, and you've got that no fault thing going on, um, most states have a cap of how much the insurance will pay out, like $500,000 or a or million dollars or whatever. Michigan has no cap. So let's say you run into somebody and you hurt them where they're going to be crippled for life. You're going to pay for the rest of the life. But 99% of the drivers don't actually ever have that happen. So it's, yeah. Yeah, I, I just couldn't do it. Well, if they fixed the, if they fixed the roads in Michigan, in Michigan, the only people that drive in a straight line are drunk because sober people know you've got to dodge the potholes and they driving around them. Yeah, that's just my personal opinion, but I have made the drive up M13 enough times from Flint to Bay City to know that that's the truth. <laughs> I used to have a booth in a flea market, an indoor flea market in Bay City. And I would drive up there like three, four days a game. All right, Cynthia, thanks so much. Make sure you hit the like. Love you. Salt River, I think I have. Yep, I got both of those. But uh, yeah, I I want to live in Michigan. I do. I just have to work the financial logistics of it. Um, and that, you know, when you're on social insecurity and <laughs> they give you a $3 raise a month and then all the prices go up $10, you're not getting, you're going backwards. So to do that move is going to require me saving for quite a while. And so that's kind of why I'm here. I'm just liquidating items and looking at other possibilities. Uh, but yeah, my intent is to move back to Michigan. I I was born in the Midwest, so and I don't really want to move to Iowa, although that is another viable option. But I really like Michigan and that's where I want to be. 
So, okay, 2020 Marsh Billings, I think I have D, I need a D, okay. Oh, that's a P. I mean, it's beautiful where I live right now in the Blue Ridge Mountains, but I was, I'm a flatlander. This driving in ice and snow in the mountains frightens me. My sister, who has years of experience, we almost lost it yesterday. Going out of a parking lot. Lost traction. I, I'm not big on this. I can drive snow now. Don't don't think I can't drive snow. But driving snow and ice in the mountains, it's just not something that I'm real excited about doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, it, it's, yeah. I know I got that. Okay, this is another 2020. Let's see. I need the D, and that's the P. Yeah, just close your eyes, right, Bob? <laughs> just close your eyes and hang on. You might get there. Uh, Batman. There's the Batman. I always got to look at those again. All right, I go back through all these and look at them. There's... Theodore Roosevelt. There's, this one's another one you got to go back and look at because there's assorted things on that one that are not always quite right. I already have these. I just got to check the mints. It's P. I'm tired of these P. Woohoo! I got 50 likes. How about that? That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I know there's some people I haven't said hi to yet. It's really hard for me to look at coins and follow the chat. And if I have not said hello to you, I am so sorry. And I will do it here right after I get done going through these. I will run down the uh, list of who the bot has told me is uh, in here because I'm going to probably be giving something else away. Oops, I shouldn't have said that. I told all this. I told on myself. Oh, no. I shouldn't have told that. Well, now I got to give something away because I said so. Oh, well. Little Susie will get it together. Uh, Little Susie is a nickname <laughs> that I inherited. Um, I do a radio show on occasion with Question Mark from Question Mark and the Mysterians in which I play a 13 and a half year old teeny bopper named Little Susie. So I will occasionally go into my Little Susie voice. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we have a lot of fun doing it. We don't do it very often anymore. We used to do it every week. We had a, a little syndicated thing going for a while. but And then I used to call and torment that obnoxious DJ there. What the heck was his name? Johnny Burke. <laughs> oh, that guy is so annoying. Johnny and Blondie. Uh, let's see. But they used to let us, that Q would go on there and just do the most outrageous things on their show. But then they said something really nasty about him one day. And we completely stopped participating in their radio show. And not long after that, they were removed from their radio show because they stepped over the line on multiple occasions. But on that one, they really did. So. Anyway, so to celebrate, we named Q's cats Johnny and Blondie. Uh, another 2020. I need the D. I need the D, and that's the P. 
Come on. At least give me something. I haven't got anything for my book yet today. Yeah, there, there are, Jaji. I've got a list that I've been working on of all these errors and, and stuff. And I will go back through these. That's why I'm throwing them back into the container rather than in the, the bank jar. Because then, like the other night, I came on and just spent three hours sorting coins. And I ended up with like 32 people in here with me. We were sorting coins and looking for errors. And we had a great time. It was awesome. And so, yeah, I do go back and look at them all. It's just, if I did it during my show, we'd never get offline. <laughs> we'd be here for hours because I, my eyesight's not great. I have to do everything with the scope. And of course, now, uh, since I broke my glasses, I'm wearing Dollar Tree readers. Uh, tonight, I had $30 worth of quarters from the car wash to go through. It varies on what I end up with each week. Okay, this is a weir farm. I need the D. And it's a P. <laughs> that seems like the story of my life. I Whichever one I need, it's the other one that I get. 2011 Vicksburg, but I have both of the Vicks. See, I, I'm poor. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to tell you, I started this because I'm poor. And I was trying to come up with hobbies. I mean, I used to collect coins before. It wasn't like this was a, a new thing. But I started the car wash thing when I lived in Georgia. Because I lived in a senior complex with a bunch of people that were sitting around doing nothing. Uh, actually, Papa Giorgio, I have them sitting over on the counter right now, clamped together. And I'm holding... I'm hoping it, what I'm doing works. Uh, it remains to be seen if the repair is going to work. Okay, I need a D of the Smoky Mountain. Oh, goody, I didn't get skunked. I got one I needed. Woohoo, that finishes 2014. So anyway, um, I had access to the quarters from the car wash, so... And I had, I had to park my car under this tree that just constantly covered my car with pollen. And I have terrible allergies. So every couple of days, I'd have, every time I went out, I'd wash my car. And one day, I almost put a silver quarter in the car wash. I had it in my hand, holding it to the slot and realized it was silver. So that's when I started searching car wash quarters and I limited my scope to car wash and laundromat so that people who don't have a lot of money could see you can fill a book. They may not all be perfect coins, but you can always upgrade them to something better, which I do frequently. If I see one that looks nicer than what's in my book, I replace it. This is a river of no return. I do not need a river of no return, unless, of course, it would happen to be a W. And, of course, it's not. I'm down to my last eight or so quarters. But I did get a couple of people down there involved, and then I've gotten some people involved through the channels that and during the lean periods where people couldn't get boxes, I noticed a number of other people starting to do car wash quarters. Theodore Roosevelt. So this is just what I can do because it's what my income allows me to do. I live on $800 a month. So you got to do what you got to do. The things that I give away are things that were either donated to my channel or they are coming out of my personal collection. Things that I won, things that I was given, whatever. Um, I. That's just how how it rolls here. Oh, woo woo! Look what we got! W W from 
Brown got car wash, baby. That's the third one in about six weeks. Boom. It's a Marsh Billings Rockefeller 2020 W out of the car wash, baby. Yeah. This is why I do it, folks, right here. This is why I do it. W in the house, baby. Third one in about six weeks. And all of them different, too. Awesome. Woohoo. I'll show you that again. I've got like four more quarters here. I want to finish them up and come back on the camera and we'll go back and revisit that one. That's awesome. But this is why I do it right there. That's why I do it. 2019. Whoa. I think I need that. Oh, two more and then I'll. I'll throw that one back under the the goodie. Woohoo! I'm happy, happy, happy. That that changed my whole day right there. That changed my day. Working at the car wash, baby, and I actually washed my car too. I scrubbed it with the brush and everything. I had to take something back that I bought right before Christmas. So I had an extra 10 in my pocket. So I got $30 worth of coins instead of 20. And I don't know which batch that was in, but it was from the car wash. All righty. That's the end of those. Let me put the book away real quick. I didn't get skunked on my book. I did get one that, or two that I could use. And we got a dub, a dub, a dub, a dub. All right, let me get this book out of my way. And let's put this W back here just for a second. Let's see, see how, how it actually looks. Okay. I mean, this is not bad for being beaten around in a car wash. You got a few little scratchies on, but doesn't look doesn't look too bad at all for a car wash quarter i'll i'll take that all day long all day long let's see the other a few little scratches up there under the united states there's my dub all right No, I don't think anybody in this room would turn down that quarter. I'm sure not turning that quarter down. That's awesome. I'm I'm thrilled. I'm happy, happy. I got a new friend. I got a new friend. We're going to have to put him in protective custody right now. Before I get him mixed up with something else, look at the left of Washington's nose. Okay, I'll have to go back to the scope to do that. Come yeah, here, yeah, George. Okay. That's what you wanted to see, right? Is that what you wanted to see, Ed? The V25 or the V75? Yeah, I'm happy. Heck yeah. Woohoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that what you were looking for? The V75? Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Awesome sauce. I like that one. I'm, I'm going to have to give something away now. I got something new. So, somebody else needs to get something new. As soon as I get this rascal secured, 
got to get him into some protective custody so I don't send him back to the bank. All right. Excellente. Woohoo. I'm so easily amused. You know, I, I watch metal detecting guys sometimes. And some of the bigger channels, I mean, you know, I'm just like a little guy. Uh, I see some of the bigger channels and they're like, they pull something out of the ground and they'll go, oh, gee, it's only a V-nickel. Or, oh, gee, it's just a barber. Yeah, and I'm like, I just want to slap these guys. <laughs> I just want to slap them, you know, like, oh, well, it's just a barber or it's just a walker. Oh, shut up, dude. You know, the majority of people that are out there detecting never get their hands on those coins. <laughs> oh. So if I pull a 2020 W quarter out of a car wash, heck yeah, I'm going to get excited. All right, I put that over there in my personal stash. I'm going to keep that rescue. But I made a box the other night when I spent the three hours online cleaning up my desk. And in that box, uh, y'all have to excuse me, I'm not the most organized person on the planet. In that box, I just filed away some things that uh, I have extras of or for whatever reason, they're not going to be a part of uh, oh, Muscle Shell. You missed it. I found a dub of ya. I got a dub. -a. A dub a dub. Oh, so happy. I'll put it, I'll hold it up. There's my dub a dub. Nine, uh, 2020 dub a dub. It's the, uh, oh, what the heck? My brain just fried. The Billings. Yeah, my brain went blank. Anyway, that's my W, and I'm keeping him. He's in protective custody over here on the other side of my desk. Woohoo! Let's see if I can find something in this box here that needs a new home. Ah. Yeah, I got a little giveaway package right here. A couple of guys that need a home. Let me see what's happening with my bot. Oh, all righty. Let me go look at the bot real quick. See if everybody's on the list. Don't need that. Okay, right now it says 27 eligible users and 35 people in the room. So that means some people haven't been commenting. So if you want to be in on the drawing, I'm going to give away... Well, here's what's going to happen. We're going to give you a home where the buffalo roam. Since y'all were talking about deer playing, well, here's the buffalo to go with them. We have a 1926 buffalo. It's showing its age, but it's still a buffalo. And then to keep them company, we have one of the 2005 new buffaloes so got some buffaloes here that need to go to a new home because i already have those buffaloes in my collection i'm downsizing so if you want to be in uh the drawing for the buffaloes you need to type something in the chat i don't care if it's a dot uh whatever preferably no nasty words uh, okay now we're up to 31 we got 34 in here and we got third night bot has picked up 31 of you so three of you are 
for whatever reason, not here. You need to comment if you want to be here for it. 32. I think that one was Justin Busman that just popped on. Yep. 32. There's 34 in the room, 32 on the list. I'm going to give you about 30 more seconds and then I'm going to pick a winner. Okay, I just need. All right. Maybe those other two don't want to. Don't don't like buffalo. All righty, let me uh get the screen open here. That's from our previous winner. There we go. Get the screen back open. We are gonna roll it in about ten seconds. So you got ten seconds to if you haven't typed anything into. The thing, I'm going to read the list real quick. We're going to see who's missing. How about that? That way I can also say hi to everybody that I missed earlier. All right. We got in the house, Archaeology, Mikey, Brandon, Scott, Budget, Bullion, Stacker, our Christmas winner of the day. Case in 2006, David Carlisle, Dwayne Mansell, Dreadpool 26, Edward Scott, Elton Jones, Forrest Raven, Handy Andy 73.6, Jaji Musician Coin, Jesse O, Jimmy Lacari, Justin, excuse me, Justin Bushman, Kimberly B, Lady Robbins, Miss Southern Bell, Muscle Shell, Papa Giorgio, Pastor Tim, Patrick Johnson, Petey Sandigger, Pennies to Benji's, Pocono Joe, Relics and Stack Stone, Scott Jarvey, Sheepdog 13, Steel Wool Queen, Successful Slave, The Lucky James Eller, The Other Jimmy, TR, U.S. Silver Stacker, Victoria Roman Carter, and Whistle Pig Diggin. Whew! That's a bunch of folks playing in the buffalo herd. I'm telling you what now. Yeah, I fixed it, Jaji. Uh, it took me a little while, but I did... Uh, uh, figure out why it wasn't letting her in and we got it all so so far everybody's been on there where they're supposed to so I think we got it working now and on the count of three I'm gonna hit roll it and it's gonna tell me who to send these buffaloes to and by the way if you win a prize you do need to send me an email Dwayne Mansell are you still in the house Dwayne there's Dwayne right there. He has won the giveaway. Oh, goody. My night bot even says he won the giveaway. Yay. Yay. I got that one working. All right. Dwayne Mansell. You picked up a couple of buffaloes. Boy, out playing in a buffalo herd this evening. And he gets to keep a couple live ones. All righty, get that in the envelope here. Everything's sticking to my gloves today for some reason. I do not know why that is happening. Get in there. <laughs> my goodness. All righty. Ah, that was a good one. Let me find my envelopes. I do not need a huge envelope for that. I got little envelopes today just to do that with. And of course now I can't find them because that would be too normal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me write that on there real quick. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for posting the email address. I am slowly getting things into the Nightbot thing so that I can automatically post such things. But it's a learning curve for me. I am not, you know, I'm not super savvy. Oh, there's the envelopes. That's what I like. Alrighty. So, I got one more little container of quarters here. 
And these are just old doors. But I have some books. I already have these in my collection, but I have empty books that came through the courtesy of my wonderful, wonderful moderator, Handy Andy 736. So we've been filling them up, and they are also going to become giveaway prizes at some point. Uh, Mikey, this is a little different than what Flipside is using. This is the version that integrates with StreamYard, and it is not the one that integrates with the downloaded uh, OBS thing. So it's a little bit different to set it up than what the guys with the downloaded programs are using. Um, but it was someone similar to Flipside that helped me. Uh, however, it, it isn't the same. It, it's the same company, but it's a different app. I think that's the best way to put it. And it has to program differently because it's not working with another downloaded program. Budget, thank you so much for being here. I hope you hit the, the like button. I'm sure you have. You've been here a bazillion times. But hit the like on the stream for me and uh, go get dinner finished so your fiance gets fed. We don't want any hungry ladies. Stay safe. Thanks so much for being here, and congrats on your win. That was awesome. All right, so I I know I probably don't have any silver in here, so I didn't even get the silver book out, but I've got the 69 through 87 book out and the 88 through 98 book out, and we're going to go through this little pile of quarters and see if we can add to these books, which will no doubt become giveaway books at some point because that's what we do here. We fill them up and ship them out. So, back to Le Scoop. I want to thank my mods, too, because I can't watch the stream like I should when I'm looking at coins. And so, my mods are awesome. And they're doing a great job. Most of them are new, except for Handy Andy. So, uh, Y'all really be nice to the mods. They're doing an awesome job. And now they're going to have to learn some other stuff after I learn it. So, so y'all be nice to the mods. And I thank them very much for everything they do for me. Oh, right out of the box, we got a bicentennial. Now, I know I already have bicentennials in the book. But I am going to set it aside because folks sometimes like them. So we will park Mr. Bicentennial over here in the keeper pile with those uh, District of Columbia's I had earlier. And we got a, an 89. And the other thing I have to get is a, I got to get a better light, a lamp for over here. I was using a, a spotlight and I knocked it over and broke the bulb in it. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to find a real low profile, small lamp that I can fit into this little corner over here because I, I have a problem with the lighting. Lady Robbins, thanks so much. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you feel better, sweetie. Uh, I hate being sick. You guys know my health is not always up to par. So I, I get it. When somebody says they don't feel good, I know they don't really feel good. So you have a wonderful evening. And I hope you feel much, much better. I don't need that one in the book either. Let's move on. A 79. Like I said earlier, I put them all in a bin and I go back through later and I look for all of the things that are listed as possible 
errors and varieties. But if I did it on camera, we would be here for 147 years. <laughs> I am the slow as molasses at searching coins. Um, one time, Handy Andy sent me a box of nickels. Now, the first night we searched those nickels for five hours. That's how slow I was. And we did not finish. And I think by the time it was over done with, it took me about eight or nine hours online to search one box of nickels. And then I still missed some stuff that I found later when I went back through. Now that 79 had a home in the book. It, it, we, it, we used that one. So we're not skunked on these. Uh, come on, eyes. My eyes do not want to focus. What did that say? 84D. All right. That one has a home in the book. Another by Slantennial. Got some soldiers marching through here tonight. 9-8. 9-8-D. Yeah, my, my eyes are, is part of why it takes me so long. They're just not good. And I guess maybe that was... <laughs> me breaking my glasses was God's way of telling me that I need to go. Successful slave, thanks so much. I uh, appreciate you being here. Uh, hope you hit the like and the subscribe and all that groovy stuff. Please tell people that there's still many days left of the 12 days of Christmas. Come over and win some groovies. 79. Yeah, these readers, I'm having a hard time. They're not, they're a good strength for the computer screen, but they are not a good screen, uh, strength for the quarters. 82p. Do we have a winner? 81, 82p goes in the book. This looks like it's kind of green. A ninety. Goodness. And that one we don't need. After I go through them like the second and third time, then I use them for my laundry. <laughs> we have a. I, my laundry room is like right down the hall, so I try to go do my laundry at night when there's nobody out wandering the halls for COVID reasons. And they all laugh at me because I, I spray things down with Lysol and, you know, they think I'm excessive, but there are seven people in this building who now have COVID because they were not careful. And I hope none of them pass away. Everybody in this building is high risk. So I try not to go through the front lobby. I try to, <laughs> I try to avoid people. <laughs> that one also went in the book, by the way. Uh, no, I have not, Mikey. Uh, thank you, Dwayne. Appreciate that. 77B. That one goes in the book. Uh, yeah, I mostly was a penny collector until I started doing the car wash quarter thing. And that is a Vegas nasty. Uh, gross. So I'm, I'm learning with everybody else on the... Uh, 
all the errors and varieties and everything. When I first started doing the quarters, Rob from Rob Finds Treasure sent me a red book. And then later on, Coyote Whacker sent me a book that shows errors. So I've had some, some good support from the community on things like that. But I'm still learning. And like I said, it's pain, a painfully slow process for me sometimes. Just because my eyes are not the best. No, but I enjoy it. I'm not going to get rich doing it. I'm probably never going to get monetized doing it. Although I would like to, so that then I could afford to do more. Uh, yeah, I like the, the stealth camping. I I used to live in a motor home for a couple of years. I did a lot of stealth camping and figuring out how to avoid people. I lived for about a month and a half in the parking lot of the Walmart in Clio, Michigan, and never once did anybody question my being there. <laughs> uh, oh, I just dropped a quarter out of the book. Yeah, I didn't get it in there properly. Uh, I'll put that back in when I'm done. But, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm a very sociable person. I work in the music industry, but I'm also, uh, not willing to sacrifice my life to go hang out in the lobby of the building and talk to a bunch of people that I don't even really know. Uh, I haven't lived here very long and Frankly, some of them don't like me because, for one thing, uh, most of these people are 10, 20 years older than me. And they just think I'm like the weird hippie lady that moved into the building. And that's pretty much what I am, the weird hippie building, hippie lady that moved into the building. I've been known to go down to the laundry room without my shoes on. Uh, yeah, I would like to get another motorhome. Really, I would. But it's going to require me selling a lot of things that I have, you know, liquidating things. That's actually the plan. Actually, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a minivan conversion. Uh, Justin, no, I do not. That I know of. I have a jar of coins that are years that those are possibilities on. And I have not yet searched that jar. <laughs> this is all the stuff I'm going to be doing over the winter. Uh, I was living up on the mountain in a cabin where I did not have very good internet. And I have only come down up the mountain at the last month. So now is the first time I've had internet service where I can actually get online and, you know, get where I can search things and do stuff. Big country. Hi, honey. How you doing? You know, I love me some big country. We used to have a lot of fun over on that other stream where they named me Betty White. The Betty White of the coin community. And that has stuck with me. <laughs> it, it has become almost legendary over on Storm and CA's channel. And that's not where it started at all. Uh, Forrest, I thought that sounded heavenly too until it got 27 degrees one night. And the wind was blowing through the walls of the cabin so badly that it was blowing the interior doors open and I like to froze my butt off I had no heater it was not supposed to get that cold and I had no heat no nothing couple of little blankets and I'm like oh no this ain't happening and one of my subscribers Ed Booth 
bought me a heater and sent it up to the mountains so I wouldn't freeze my butt off up there. But I had this internet that you had to pay for by the gig. And it was very, very expensive. And I couldn't really do my live streams very well. I did some. And there's, some there's people in here that know I, I persevered and I, I did it. But uh, it, it was not. And I fell while I was out there and busted up my ribs. And... So then I couldn't metal detect and I couldn't work. I couldn't do anything. So I decided, well, that's not going to work out very well. And this apartment that I had been waiting for uh, opened up and became available. So I moved in here with the objective of staying for a year while I sell off some things that I no longer need and uh, do some sort of motor home again and a small yeah I had a pretty chunky one but I just want some little small thing that I can take up and park on my friend's farm up in Michigan and drive around and do metal detecting and that kind of thing uh, as long as my health will allow me to do that. So this is my my stopping point here where I'm selling off like things from my jewelry business and furniture and and uh, all that stuff. So it's just... Uh, it's a work in progress. My skunk moment. I have a skunk moment? I do? I had the dead skunk in the middle of the road moment. I don't remember a skunk moment. But then again, I don't remember everything. I'm old. I'm allowed to forget things. Well, I had a 26-foot motorhome a class c and then i had a little extension on the back of it for my generator and all of that so it actually measured out to 28 and i wish i had kept it i sold it to a friend of mine down in florida when i moved to michigan because i didn't know that the place i was moving to would allow me to park it there and it turned out I could have parked it there so I was kind of mad at myself that I had sold it but it was getting pretty old it was from the 70s and so it wasn't the most reliable it had made one too many trips to Michigan and so really what I want to do I've seen several videos on this is I want to get like a Toyota Sierra or some type of minivan that has longevity and has the sliding side doors. And I want to make a mini camper out of it. I have most of the stuff to do it with. It's just a matter of finding the appropriate vehicle. Uh, uh, and I want it to be something that is not a gas hog, but that's my ultimate plan. But I would like to be somewhere where I have a a permanent residence. I don't want to be just in the motorhome like I was. I need to have, because of my health issues, I need to have a permanent residence and then have the little motorhome on the side. And I'm going to ignore that comment. Oh, the skunk at the beach. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, when I got skunked at uh, Ormond Beach, Florida, 
the first day of uh, spring break. And there really wasn't anybody out there. But there was a skunk. And I got skunk too. I didn't find a daggone thing that day. Nothing. I had and I had just driven. I had driven all the way from Georgia and gotten out of my van and, and started detecting. And that was like the second or third place. Oh yeah, I forgot all about that skunk. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the one that I used Penny Dogs. Uh, I used one of her dogs in my video. I used Belle because Belle's always the, the, the skunk dog on the Penny Dog channel. So I asked Penny Dog if I could uh, put Belle in the video, and she said I could. So Belle got to be the skunk detector in my video. Yeah, I forgot about that. That was fun, too. That was a fun video. I didn't find crud detecting but i had fun making that video anyway i was really i really just didn't find much when i was down in florida on that trip and the other bad part about it was that was right right that week was when all the covid stuff broke loose and i had to hightail at home because i'm a, you know like i said i'm high risk so these quarters are not staying in this book I'm going to have to punch these back in later. All right. Well, that's it for those. I did find a few to go in the book, but they don't want to stay in the book. So, and it's because I can't lay the book flat here on my desk, but we made some progress. Those books eventually will be in the giveaway pile. So, uh, let me get back on the screen. I'm not going to ignore my big country. Now that I can got not sorting coins anymore, I can come over here and bother big country. I like big country. He's funny. He came in my 666 devil made me do it thing, and we almost had to uh, strap him in his chair. He warned us he was going to fall out of his chair. So I think we were going to tie him down that night. But anyway. All righty, folks, I've been on here. This is about usually when I log off because I usually go. There's a couple of uh, metal detecting channels that I watch that start at seven and I just vary whichever ones I want. And I also like to watch Baseman and I, and I got to get ready and get me some food. I read it. I ignored it. <laughs> That's something from the 70s about being reliable. Yeah, I read that, baby. I read it. <laughs> I just chose to ignore that one. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm going to run, folks. I want to get something to eat. I'm probably going to end up at Storm and CA's tonight. Uh, 61D, Justin says. All righty, 62D. Uh, I'm searching 62D BU since as we speak. Well, I got some rolls over here. I got to go through for stuff. I got a roll of 2010 uncirculated uh, shield packs. I got a roll of 2009 formative years. I got, whoops, I got something I just fell on the floor. I got a roll of 56Ds, Wheaties. Got a roll of 2011 uncirculated. I got a roll of 57 Ds. So I got some stuff hanging around. I ain't blushing. I'm sitting under the heater. Besides that, old ladies have hot flashes. <laughs> so then. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Forest Raven. Uh, come back anytime. I'm on... Monday and Wednesday on normals, but during the giveaway, I'm on every day until January the 6th when we wrap the big giveaway up. So there we go. I'm from the 70s, but your warrant is running out. <laughs> it blew, 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 blew in your check engine light a long time ago. Yeah, I think mine did too. All right. Thank you guys so much. I I am just awestruck that I had that many likes and so many people stayed in here tonight. And I hope y'all had a good time. I do the best I can with what I got. Um, 
Thank you, Justin. I might do that because I'm still in the, my learning curve on stuff like the, the sorting through the BUs. You know, I might need some help with that. So, guys, thank you so much. Uh, keep your eyes open tomorrow. Make sure you got your notifications set because I don't know what time I'm going on tomorrow. It'll just be when I have time. Uh, Wednesday, I will be going on at 6 p.m. for my normal uh, metal detecting show. After that, it's just going to be bouncing around. So you need to have your notifications checked. Uh, congrats to the winners. Uh, come back tomorrow and maybe you'll be one. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Be safe.